Hi there, it is Seed Week here at The Bruce Company, and I've got with me today um, Matt Weaver, who does our a lot of our seed buying and is our self-proclaimed, and also we proclaim him, the, the Prince of Seeds here at The Bruce Company. <laughs> and one of the questions we get a lot is, what exactly is an heirloom vegetable? Okay, to understand what an heirloom vegetable is, um, there's a couple concepts you need to understand. One is hybrid. So a hybrid plant is a plant where you take one variety and then another variety of the same thing, you cross them and you get a very uniform uh, crop. So something like a big boy tomato is a good example um, versus an open pollinated. An open pollinated variety is a variety where uh, you take that plant, you cross it with the same plant and you get the same kind of plant after it. So um, all heirlooms follow, fall into that category where you can save the seeds from that variety indefinitely and they're, you're going to keep getting the same thing over and over And they're not genetically again. manipulated in any way. No, it's not just, at all. It's just letting nature yep. do her thing. Yep. And so and they've been line bred in the past to select for a certain trait. And some good and so that's an open pollinated plant. On top of that, an heirloom then is a, a variety a vegetable or flower or mm -hmm. herb that's been passed down from one generation to the next. And a lot of times, uh, what would they call heirlooms, they'll have like a family connection mm -hmm. or a connection to a place mm -hmm. or sometimes just like a really great story. Yeah. I always think of Mortgage Lifter. Yeah, I, Mortgage Lifter yes. Tomato, like where he paid off his mortgage by selling the plants. Exactly. It. Exactly. Yep. So actually, I have, a, no, I have a good example of a family heirloom here. This is one of the... It's, uh, the uh, uh, varieties that started the seed savers. Uh, this is German pink tomato. It was from uh, uh, the people who started seed savers. Uh, it was from Grandpa Ott. And There's also a Grandpa Ott. Uh, it's Morning Glory. Morning Glory, yes. yes. Uh, those are the two varieties. They were handed down over the generations in the same family. And so, and this is a very tasty tomato, by the way. Big, meaty, um, great for slicing or canning or whatever you want to do to it all purpose. There's also what we call an old commercial heirloom. So these are varieties that were bred for commercial purposes and then stopped being available in the commercial right. realm, but were still being handed down from generation to generation because they were good. Mm -hmm. A good example of that would be Wisconsin 55 tomato. Um, you know, bred back, uh, bred here at the UW, at okay. the University of Wisconsin in 1946. Nice. So it does really well around here. Once again, a good, nice slicing tomato. Yes. Uh, very popular. And one reason to like look into heirlooms, sometimes they tend not to be as disease resistant as some of the newer but hybrids. Not but not always. I said sometimes. Mm -hmm. And also the flavor is amazing and the nutrient profile can be better as well. There's been university studies where they've discovered that um, the heirlooms actually have, uh, have a wider range of nutrients in them. We don't have our total number of seeds or tomato varieties or carrot varieties calculated yet. We will have that at the Garden Expo. Yeah. But don't be afraid if you come in and we have 200 different tomatoes because our staff here, Matt and Scott at the desk and Lori, and all of us who garden would be happy to say, what do you want your tomato to do? And then to find you several options that would fit your idea of the perfect tomato. Mm -hmm. Yes. So stop into the garden center um, all this week. We have seeds are 10% off. And we also have 10% off on some seed starting mix from Purple Cow. And from all of us here at the Bruce Company, have a really happy gardening new year. Take care.